Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for joining us today for this pivotal moment in Augusta University Athletics. I'm Melissa Brocato, and I've had the pleasure of serving as Interim Athletic Director for the past few months. I also serve as Assistant Athletic Director and proud to be the head softball coach of Augusta University since 1998, where I had the privilege of working with longtime Athletic Director Clint Bryant. Speaking on behalf of our coaches and our staff this morning, I want to say how excited we are as we build on Coach Bryant's legacy and we look to the future of Augusta University Athletics. We, we look forward to offering more opportunities for our student athletes to excel in the classroom and on the fields of play as we also look to the future of Augusta University with great anticipation. At this time, I'd like to introduce to you the chair of our Athletics Director Search Commit Committee, as, as Executive Vice President of Administration, Chief of Staff to the President, Dr. Russell Keene. Dr. Keene. Well, good morning. It's an exciting day for Augusta University. Thank you all for being here. Uh, before I start, uh, there's somebody missing in our presence today, and that's our president. I just got off the phone with him about 45 minutes ago, and he deeply regrets that he will be unable to make it here. He's got an unexpected illness in the family that he's dealing with. But he is here in spirit, and we have been waiting and waiting for this day to come, Ryan. We're, we're very glad you're here. Um, it's a foundational moment for us. I'd also like to thank uh, our commissioner, our Peach Belt Commissioner, David Brunk, and our Deputy Commissioner, Diana Kling. Thank you all for being here. Um, yeah, that's appropriate. Thank you all so much uh, that, that you would come here uh, during this time for us. When Dr. Kill asked me to serve as chair of the search committee, I knew that we had some big shoes to fill after the retirement of Clint Bryant. It was my honor to serve along a side of, uh, an esteemed group of individuals, both internal to Augusta University and external to our community, and I'd like to recognize them at this time. Uh, Dr. Michael Ash. Uh, Ms. Haley Gilbert, who was the VIP of this committee. She was the one who uh, represented the student athletes, and she did a wonderful job. Dr. David Hunt, Mr. Henry Ingram, Dr. Zach Kelleher, Mr. Jason McKenzie, our volleyball coach, Sharon Quarles, and Mr. Emmett Turner, the president of the Birdie Club. We also had input and help from other members of our community. Uh, Mr. Chad Cook, Dr. J. Ben Deal, Mr. Al Harris, Ms. Debbie Lehman, Mr. Robert Osborne, Mr. Haskell Taport, Mr. Dan Whitfield, and Ms. Anita Wilds. So thank you all for dedicating your time and feedback and being part of this instrumental search for the future of Augusta University Athletics. I want to thank Daniel Parker, Taylor Middleton, and Grant Higgins with Parker Search. They did a phenomenal job uh, bringing forth a number of candidates across the country. I want to thank Sharon Wingard and Maggie Witherington for keeping us on track with our organized meetings. Uh, the search process was aggressive, but it was seamless. We had over 87 applicants from across the country that we went through. And after going through the entire candidate pool, we were able to unanimously narrow our finalists to four. We brought each of them to our campus. We showed them our community. And after their visits, we had a clear front runner, a unanimous clear front runner who we all believed would be the best fit for JAG Nation. I'm proud to say that we found someone who's dedicated to expanding the growth of AU athletics, whose enthusiasm is contagious, and who can take our program to the next level. Today is a celebration of what's to come of AU athletics. It's a historic day for Jaguar Nation and our entire community. My gratitude to longtime athletics director Clint Bryant can't be understated. Coach saw many wins during his 34 years of service to Augusta University, helping lay the foundation and growth that we'll experience in the coming decades. Just a few of his accomplishments with his tenure include Augusta men's golf winning back-to-back -back Division I NCAA championships and an individual men's golf championship. Last season, our Augusta volleyball team reached the NCAA Elite Eight for the first time in school history. And the men's basketball team, of course, we all know, played in the national championship game. As you can see, we have a winning history 
that is only primed for growth in this new era. I want to thank Coach Bricado as well for steering this department the past several months. And you know, when you think about it, we all stand on the shoulders of those who came before us. Our donors, our benefactors, coaches like Coach Bryant, Marvin Vanover, our media partners who've been so gracious to cover our athletic programs. And now, our special guest comes to us with a 15-year career so far. He's built a strong reputation as an innovative, transformational, and a student athlete-centered leader. Coach Erlacher is no stranger to the Peach Belt Conference, most recently serving as Chief Athletics Administrator at Clayton State University. The Lakers experienced landmark campaigns in each of his four years with them, setting department records in the areas of academic achievement, community engagement, competitive success, and fundraising. Under his leadership, academic success at Clayton State Athletics hit an all-time high with the department achieving above a 3.0 GPA for the past eight years. For the past three years, his previous institution earned the Peach Belt Conference President's Academic Award, and this year, the department was a finalist for the NCAA Division II Award of Excellence. Coach L. Arker helped athletics fundraising reach an all-time high during his tenure, breaking records each year for community partnerships and day of giving totals. He also helped the Lakers achieve not only conference tournaments, but also Division II national postseason play. Several teams have been ranked nationally with multiple coach and player of the year honors, as well as student athlete and academic achievements. We know here at Augusta, he will continue this outstanding work to grow the resources of our student athletes, garner additional community support in many ways, and more winning seasons for the Jaguars. This is only the first of many celebrations that we expect to have for Jaguar Nation and Ryan Erlarker and our student athletes. Under his direction, you can expect to see a lot more Augusta blue across the city as we work to continue to grow our brand and engage our community with our athletics. I hope that we can look at this day not as just an event, not as just a conference that we're all here, but a day that we can renew our commitment, our commitment in this university and in our community for Augusta University and our athletic programs. It's great to be part of something that's bigger than ourselves and to be part of what's to come for the future of Augusta University athletics and the future of our community. So thank you all once again for being here. Thank you for supporting Augusta University and our student athletes. And now it is my pleasure to introduce the man of the hour, the man who's gonna take us to the next level, Ryan Erlocker. Y'all please join me in welcoming. Good morning. What a morning it's been. Thank you, Dr. Keene. And I uh, also want to thank President Keel. I know he couldn't be here this morning, but um, President Keel and Dr. Keene have been unbelievable uh, during this transition over the last month and a half-ish. Um, I couldn't have asked for, for better support from the administration here at Augusta University. And uh, just, again, overwhelmed um, by their support and their confidence in me to lead Augusta Athletics into the future. So thank you very much, and thank you to President Keel. Um, also want to thank the, the search committee. I had a, a great campus visit, um, got to meet a lot of different folks, and just enjoyed all those conversations. And I remember driving home and gave my wife a call. I said, man, Augusta University, they have something special here. And everyone I met, I just enjoyed more and more and more. And it's been that way since. And uh, again, I just appreciate everyone who's reached out and the text messages, the emails, the calls. Um, all of you who have made, not just me, but my family as well, just as welcome as possible. So I just want to say thank you for that. Um, I have a lot of thank yous before I get into some of my points here. But um, I also want to thank um, someone who has been who has left a, a lasting legacy at Augusta University. Uh, someone who I've known for over 12 years working in the Peach Belt Conference. 
someone who I've looked to for, for answers and advice over the years, someone who has guided our AD group in the PBC, and someone who obviously I have some very, very big shoes to fill here at Augusta because of this gentleman. But uh, Coach Bryant, uh, I just want to say what an unbelievable career you've had and the legacy you've left here. Um, I hope to have a chance to fill just a small portion of the shoes that obviously you're leaving behind. But um, just so fortunate to have you here as a new AD coming in to call and ask for advice and, and so on. So I imagine we'll be grabbing lunch here probably pretty soon. So um, just an honor to be following in your footsteps. I just want to say congratulations on an amazing career. I also want to thank my family. Uh, unfortunately, my wife, Kelly, uh, could not be with us today. And my two children, our two children, Austin, our son is nine, and our daughter, Isabel, is seven. Uh, they're at school today. Um, and I know they really wanted to be here, but they have a lot going on there. Uh, they have been unbelievably supportive over the years. Uh, those of you who work in college athletics, especially coaches, it's tough being a spouse of a coach. It's tough being a spouse of an AD. Um, and I'm just beyond blessed to have an amazing family and supportive family. And I know they can't wait to get here and get out to games and start meeting everyone in this Augusta community and, and Augusta University. So um, even though they could not be here today, they're thinking of everyone, trust me, they're thinking of me. And like I said, they are just so anxious um, to, to move to Augusta. And a side note, if anyone's looking to sell a house in the Augusta area, please let us know. We've had a couple offers out there, but no luck yet. But we've got a great real estate agent, and we're going to find something soon. Um, I have been asked this question quite a bit, and I've probably given five different answers to this question. Uh, you know, what is your vision for athletics at Augusta? And, um, you know, where do you see your, our program going for the future? And I want to make something very clear, uh, first of all. This program is not broken. This is an unbelievable athletics program. And everyone sitting in this room in the athletics department, the coaches, the staff, Coach Bryant, we have you to thank for that. Um, you know, I guess personally my goal for us is – what can we do to elevate all of the amazing things that you're already doing? That's the plan. And I think through a lot of intentional work, strategic work, a lot of conversations, a lot of listening, a lot of learning, a lot of meetings over the next several weeks, my goal is to hear what everyone in this room and everyone else who's not in this room has to say and help us map out the future of Augusta Athletics. That's the plan. To answer the question that I've received probably 50 times in the last month is, you know, what is your vision? I certainly have a vision for Augusta Athletics, and I can go through those bullets with you today, uh, but I'm not going to do that. My vision is one that is, has to be our vision as a department. The goals, the objectives, what we want to accomplish has to be that of a team. It's not my vision. It needs to be our vision. And I know we're going to put a lot of great work in to that approach. Okay, we're going to continue to build culture. We're going to continue to divide, uh, define our core values. We're going to continue to look at what we are offering our student athletes and our students, our campus, our community. And obviously the experience our student athletes have here at Augusta University is paramount. Um, we are going to continue to be leaders in the community. We're gonna continue to engage the community. We're gonna be leaders in competition. Obviously we all want to win, but we're gonna win the right way. And we're gonna take a lot of pride in that. We're gonna continue to excel in the classroom. Every area that we can touch as an athletics department, it's something I call comprehensive excellence. Every area that we can get involved in or with, we want to be great. We want to be great. And we want to set a higher standard across the bar. We want to set a higher standard across the Peach Belt and Division II, Division I for golf, 
We want to be the program that others are looking to and going, wow, Augusta University, look what they're doing. Look how they're doing it. How impressive are they? To quote an old friend, they're, they're different, they're noticeable, they're appealing. And that's what I'm most excited about. And I'm so grateful for my time at Clayton State. It was a great four years. We have, we have a great team. Clayton State has a great team there. It's going to take me a few weeks, Russell. Um, and, and it's amazing hearing the accomplishments that we were able to, to, to get done there. Um, but that wasn't me. You know, I was just there. I was a, along for the ride. We had a great team, great coaches, great staff. And again, it was a privilege to be leading that athletics department. I can't tell you um, how excited I am for the future of Augusta Athletics. I can't tell you how excited I am. Uh, although this morning's been wonderful, I'm looking forward to getting into my office and getting to work. Um, the sky is the limit here, and I truly, truly believe that. You have such a, a wonderful athletics program here. And looking to the future, again, I'm just excited about where we are gonna be able to take it because of the strong foundation that was set by this gentleman in front of me, Coach Bryant. So um, there's a lot of bullet points here. I don't know if I'm going to get to all of them, but I, I just want to say um, personally thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for your trust, your confidence. Um, I am someone who I work quickly. I get after it. Uh, I move fast, and hopefully you're going to see a lot of great things coming in the coming weeks and months, but I'm really looking forward to getting out, meeting the community, a lot of listening, a lot of learning, and seeing how I can best serve Augusta University and Augusta Athletics based on all of that feedback. Uh, so thank you for, for this today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your, your unbelievable support over the last month and a half. Um, and I can't wait to get started and can't wait to set the standard in the NCAA when it comes to Augusta Athletics. Thank you very much. And excuse me, we're gonna welcome um, Coach back up for a few more remarks. Thank you. I just want to thank you once again for coming, and I want to remind you to please follow Augusta Athletics on all our social media outlets. Um, I also want to invite you to come out to Christenberry tomorrow night. Speaking of cheering on our student athletes and their successes, volleyball plays tomorrow night at 6 p.m., so please come out to Christenberry um, to cheer them on, um, and that will conclude our live stream. Oh, Ryan has one more thing. Sorry, my, my apologies. You, you heard I'm anxious to get going. Uh, I forgot to ask, is there any questions for me? I'm happy to answer any questions that anyone here would like to have or ask. You can grill me. It's okay. Don't go easy. Go ahead. You said several times today already that you're anxious to get to work. Yes. What's the first thing you're going to work on? Well, hopefully there's a computer sitting over there in the office. So I know I have a lot of emails I need to return um, or at least respond to. So um, I'm very fortunate uh, Michelle was able to set up a lot of meetings uh, for me over the next week or two to start meeting with coaches and staff and community members. Um, I'm really looking forward to that and really just getting to know everybody and hearing what the wants and needs are. I like to develop what I call as a wish list um, and really start checking those boxes on how we can continue to move this program forward based on all of that feedback. So um, that's what I'm looking forward to most first is just those conversations. Other questions? Go ahead. Chris, you mentioned, you know, a little bit about the athletic department. Talk a little about, a little bit about that as far as the outside the athletic size. How, how important is academic for you? It's vital. Um, everywhere I've been, you know, I've either been put in charge of academic, what I call academic excellence, or I've, you know, overseen the areas. Um, it's, it's not an afterthought. 
it, it's a very intentional area that we will approach. Fortunately, the student athletes here are amazing and they're already having a lot of success academically. For me, academic success really is it's quite simple. It, it needs to be a, a, you know, a complete buy-in from everyone involved. So it starts at the very top with your administration and that trickles down to me and that trickles down to our coaches and our staff and then it goes to our student athletes. Our student athletes have to take ownership of wanting to do well in the classroom. They, they want to be ambassadors in that area, of course. Um, our coaches, our staff have to take ownership of what we as a department, what our goals are academically. And then as we achieve those goals, we are praising our student athletes every step of the way, whether it be on social media, on a, a release, you know, breakfast of champions, uh, you know, receptions, signage in the gym of those who've earned a 3.0 or higher. Whatever we can do to highlight the amazing things our student athletes are doing academically, we will obviously continue to do. But that's why we're here. You know, having success, uh, success, excuse me, in the classroom is vital, it's important, but it's a bigger picture. It has to be a complete buy-in from everybody involved in our department. And uh, you look at Clayton State for an example. Uh, we achieved a, a quite a bit academically quickly. Same coaches, same staff, but we took a different approach. And, in, and through those intentional conversations and really strategically looking at, okay, where are we and where do we want to go? and mapping it out, I think is probably the best approach based on what the goals are. Um, I have no doubt academically this program is going to be great. They already are. It's what can we do differently now to get us even stronger and put us even more ahead of others uh, in the conference, in our region, and NCAA Division II. So to answer your question, it's a tremendous emphasis on academic success and excellence and making sure our student athletes have what they need to be successful so at the end of the day, they're graduating and obviously moving on in their careers. Yes. Great question. Um, I've learned quite a bit. So I was very fortunate. Clayton State gave me my first uh, AD role. As a young AD there, I, I'll never forget my first week on the job. I had all these goals and, and priorities in mind and just ready to go. And as I started learning and listening and meeting, I realized I got to change a lot of these things because we're not there yet. Um, what I've learned, um, I've learned a lot. What I've learned the most is um, how important building relationships are, how important culture is, and not just a culture that you hope you'll have. It's a, you know, what I like to say, a culture by design, not by default, how important that is. Um, how important it is to support your coaches and your staff and your student athletes. You know, someone who they know will fight for them. I think that's really important. Obviously, engaging um, external assistance, fundraising, development is extremely important as well. But really developing who we are as a department, who we are as a staff, as a team, not just me doing that. We need to do that as a team, and that's what I learned there is you're, it's difficult to create buy-in and trust when you're the person making all the decisions. If you're engaging your team, engaging your staff, and we are developing core values, we are developing you know, how we want to conduct our business, in bringing everybody in, if you can build that type of trust, you're going, you're going to be able to overachieve um, in every area possible. And again, to quote an old friend, Rob Miller, you know, great teams reach their potential. And you got a great team here, and our goal was to reach our full potential. And if we do that, we're going to be able to do some amazing things. So uh, a long answer to a short question, but I think relationship building, uh, intentionally building culture, and trust and being very strategic on the goals and priorities that we set as a team is what I learned most there. Go ahead. Oh, um, there's a long list of items of why 
Augusta University. Um, you know, for me, it's several reasons. One was already mentioned. I've been in the Peach Belt Conference for, I don't know, 12 plus years now. Uh, Commissioner Brunk and Deputy Commissioner Clint got it right this time. Um, they are just amazing to work with, and I've really enjoyed being in the conference. So having the opportunity to remain in the conference uh, obviously was really important to me. Um, I've always been very impressed with Augusta over the years. I, I've athletically and from an institution standpoint. Uh, at, from an institution standpoint, you know, you see what enrollment's doing, which is exciting. You see the building taking place on here or, or on campus, which is exciting. Uh, everyone I've interacted with has been unbelievable. Uh, so like I said, I left that day on my interview, just I felt the support was there for athletics and I felt that this is a special place where you can do some special things. Um, and I'm not just saying that. I, I wouldn't be here if I felt that way because I was leaving an amazing team and uh, I really enjoyed my time at Clayton State. But I honestly believe the sky is the limit here. I think we have the necessary ingredients to be amazing um, and we have the support. And I, I just think I'm very excited about if we can reach our potential here moving forward what can come of Augusta Athletics. So, and there's a lot of other reasons why, um, but those are probably the big ones. I, like I said, I'm just, I'm extremely excited about the support and what I believe we're gonna be able to accomplish as a team here. Good questions. Any other questions for me? All right, well again, thank you for being here and I uh, look forward to working with everybody. Take care.